Hello Panda YouTube, welcome to today's video. Did you guys know that Captain Falcon was an ultimate? Yeah, like, like the guy from that game, F-Zero. I didn't even, I haven't even seen him in forever. I had no idea. I thought that was his last game. It's crazy. But yeah, Captain Falcon actually just got buffed recently. And a lot of people are saying that he's way stronger than he used to be. I personally was a doubter. I didn't think that he had that much juice in the tank. Get it? Because he drives a car. But Fatality just went on a monster run at Wanted 3 over in Flans. So I'm going to take a look at it, watch the people he beat and say, Man, Falcon's not even that good. Uh, Roy against Falcon is that Falcon is so fast. Like, Roy wants to stay on top of Falcon and, like, keep him close, right? Because that's what Roy does. But, like, Falcon is so quick that he's just as scary up close, you know? Oh, yeah, nice. Roy's, Roy's stuff is safe enough that you can definitely mash him and avoid the upbeat. But Fatality's uppies are so good. He catches so many people because he scares you into shielding. And then, like, you'll notice in a lot of sets, he just uppies a ton because everyone's terrified of him. So they just shield. What a down tilt, too. Oh, my God. You just have to slowly watch your guy drift into the knee or not. <laughs> okay, that's annoying. There's no way that was intentional. What did I miss? Was there conditioning? Or did he just throw it out? That didn't. That was not an intentional knee. I think he just wanted to back air again, and whatever happened happened. Like he has so like Fatality also in this specific matchup has so much matchup experience because of Cola, so like you know he's comfortable in it. Ooh, okay. He's Fatality's already conditioned him in the shield, which is bad. Oh boy. Oh. I love laid up air. This is the, I oh listen. I dog on Falcon a lot, obviously, because it's funny. Um, but watch this. So you get the neutral air. Raptor boost. He's on the platform. He's gonna have to tech. Falcon is so long. Look at that. Where do you go, brother? If you do normal get up, the laid up air gets you. If you do uh, roll right, roll left. I don't know if there's anything you can do. I think delay get up or get up attack. But get up attack, if he gets down, like if he doesn't get hit in the foot by the get up attack, then you're getting punished, right? And it's probably gonna be worse. Man. Oh it's oh so boy. good. But you know what? I just watched several sets of Fatality, and you know, I didn't see enough Falcon punches. There was only one Falcon punch that whole time. What was up with that? That's such a good move. I need to see more. Hey, how about this? How about you guys Falcon punch with me? Let's go ahead and Falcon punch the subscribe button. Ready? Falcon! And like, no, no disrespect to Flo, but I would say Cola is the best Roy in the world. So... Oh, it doesn't matter how good you are if you're just gonna fall into up smash. That was ridiculous. That you never land above Falcon. If at any point up smash will kill, do not be above Falcon. Ooh. Dead? Well, yeah, he's dead. Edgard. Oh, I like the reverse up too. The weak knee. Oh, dude, that sequence was so good. That was ridiculous. God, this is where Fa I think this is where Fatality is at his most impressive. The fact that he can edge guard with Falcon is so weird because most characters with edge guards they have like good disjoints or um, projectiles or something that can knock you away. Falcon doesn't really have much. He just weaves in. Oh, not air dodging to the ground, dude. They teach you not to do that against Falcon in Smash Four. Come on, man. Thank God he tagged it. I would have been a little upset if homie didn't tag it. Uh, play When I play Fatality, it's just so hard to edgeguard him. Yeah, you're dead. You got too aggressive because you had to be because you're down by a lot. No, Fatality's just going to kill you. Yeah, that was a really easy jump to react to. So as you guys can see here, does not have a jump. Boom. He's lucky he didn't die. Actually so lucky. I'm very surprised it didn't say spot. I like his jab immediately. Flo is like, if he misses something on shield, he'll just jab instantly to stop the upbeat, which is smart. Jeez. Good lord. How does he go far? Like, why would you go this far out there? Why is Fatality doing that? He's in deep water. Like, look, he refreshes his jump. What the fuck? What is this? This is half a stage distance. Why are you here? He's stuffing the up B before it comes out. This is mad rude. Falcon's not supposed to be out there. 
Oh, he's too counterpicked. He said, I need DLC. I need DLC. Give it to me. He's doing much better now. This is where Fatality and Falcon should suffer. Trying to get down should be hard. Because what does he have to get down, right? He has his raw speed. He has down air, but that's not really safe. Uh, he has Falcon kick, but like, you know, just don't commit and you can stuff him. Um, landing for Falcon can be really hard. It's not as bad as like a heavy character, because uh, that's like their main weakness, but still, he shouldn't get down for free. Oh. And the spike. Jeez. Just gutting off there. That was a really good punish on that. Brave. So brave to land with that down air. No, what the hell? No! <laughs> this is a setup. Hold on. Wait for it. He goes to the corner at the very beginning of the stock and he goes for a full hop landing. This is a setup, dude. He's going for some cheesy zero to death. I know it. Watch this. How did he know he was going to go above him? 90% of Falcons go for the up here. here. Right? You go for the up air because it's safer. It's free damage. It's probably going to knock him off stage and then you can go for the edge guard. Why would you do this? He's already at 130, Fatality. He's carnal. This dude is primal. He's a caveman. Oh, you're dead. You're 100% dead. Boosh! So Nox is a super good Belmont player from France. Oh my god, that up tilt is so annoying. <laughs> How do you get out of it? How do you get out of that? Do you have to SDI the other hits? It is so easy to just destroy Rick there. What are the Belmonts upset? Gluta? I see, okay. Kill him! Kill him! Oh. <laughs> he did kill him! Hey, it wasn't a knee. It wasn't, what is it? It's not a bang, but a whimper. Something like that. Someone knowing the matchup. Aug, it's almost like if you know the matchup, you're gonna win. Three stock, goddamn. How many three stocks has he got already? One grab does that. Come on, dude, again? This is why I don't like Falcon. This is why people say he isn't hype. Falcon is like, I love this picture of Falcon. He's very cute. Falcon is like your friend that like said one really funny joke one time and then he just keeps saying this. He keeps saying the same joke over and over. We talked about the most hype characters and I said the same thing there. How about down throw, neutral air, neutral air, up air, and then for the punchline, they'll never expect this one. Up tilt. <laughs> you already told that joke like a minute and a half ago. It's not hype anymore. If Palutena neutral airs me, Eight times a set. I'm not laughing. It's not fun. It's not hype. Why is Fatality allowed to do that over and over? You know? The schmix. Oh my god. You see the shimmy on that air, that air drift? He went around him so often. Nox was a little too greedy. He went for a forward smash that probably would have killed. Damn, just moved around. I'm surprised he let him go to FD. Now that I'm thinking about it, he's got no platforms to land on. So now we've got Mr. R versus Fatality for the uninitiated, which which is crazy. The fact that, like, I think a lot of people um, won't know who Mr. R is. Mr. R is one of the top players in Europe since, like, of the Brawl, you know, sort of lineage. Um, was incredibly good at Smash 4, played Sheik, um, along with a couple other characters like Cloud. Um was really known for being super talented. In Ultimate, he hadn't really hit his stride. We knew he was good, but he hadn't really popped off. He kept switching mains. Young Link played a little bit of Inkling, played Snake, obviously, played Krom for a while. But he never really had that big push, but he's always been one of Europe's top players. Um, and I was excited to see how far he would have gone, because I definitely think he's one of those players that eventually would have caught up and been fine. And then COVID hit. And he's been stuck in Europe for the past year, which kind of hurts him because Europe isn't quite as strong as the U.S. So we'll see how he does against Fatality here. He goes Snake first. I'm pretty sure that this is a matchup that Fatality is pretty comfortable with. In fact, I'd say he does it pretty well. <laughs> I think he, uh, Fatality has even said this is one of the few top tier matchups that Fata uh, Falcon actually does pretty well in. 
I'd say at worst it's even. Damage. And like Falcon does so much damage and like everything knocks Snake out of all. Uh, Cypher, which is terrifying. I think he just knows when to back up and he knows when to go for these like safe reads, kind of like Meister-esque up smashes, right? Again, it's not exactly the same. And then weird, super weird timing mix up. I like that neutral air. Okay. Now this is what you need to do. If you're at this high percent anyway, where one hit's gonna kill, you just gotta play lame as hell. Your goal here is to just try to frustrate Fatality to get that one more hit. Uh, Falcon is tough because he has to run through all of these explosions, get through all of this to try to land any kind of hit against his opponent. So if you could just make him guess wrong a few times, maybe he'll get his own head, mental boom, mind crush. You know, that's your one way back into this match. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I, I would have tried to go for the parry and lost right there on that back air. <laughs> I almost killed on town. I hate that move. I love how he's going for the weak knee edge guards. I think they're super cool. Because, like, a lot of times if they hit, it's going to be enough. Or he can just, like, up be out if they have to, like, do something. That didn't kill. That's fine. I thought he was dead. Wow. Imagine just letting yourself get hit by Vanish. I'm surprised he even managed to get that down here. I'm not going to lie. She, if she can't get her kills, oh, I like that. I like that. Did you see it? Did you see it, dear viewer? If she can't find her kills, she has to get mad creative, and that's really scary against a character like Fatality, or uh, a player like Fatality, a character like Falcon, who can just, like, figure it out, you know? Check this out. He hits the neutral air, right? Late neutral air. He records this interaction in his mind palace, in his memory database. Mr. R says, aha, late neutral air. Air dodge in. Then he gets the needles. What is Fatality gonna do? Uh oh! He did the same thing. He did the same thing twice. Another air dodge in. So instead of just going for a bouncing fish or something that he's gonna air dodge through, ba boom! Forward smash. I'll give it up. Veteran knowledge. Gets the jab. Grenade. No jump. Yeah, I, that's really hard to time an air dodge through. He could have upbeat early. I think that probably would have been his best bet if uh, Fatality upbeat early here and just went for the platform. Because I don't think there's a single way he dies on that platform. Like, realistically thinking. Down air knee. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Sometimes it happens to you. Sometimes that happens. That's like almost a true combo. I love that. I love dying at seven. Woo! Yeah, that's what you get for challenging Falcon up B. Let him recover. He deserves it. Like, look at that spacing by Fatality. So clean. You dead? Oh, uh, well, ton of damage. He probably could have killed him. He just didn't. He, I could tell he didn't. He wasn't sure if the, the up air was going to hit. He wants to kill him so bad, and he's close every time. Too greedy, too greedy. He made that back, that's insane. Mr. R is so far ahead here on like, in, in theory, right? He just threw away a stock at 7%. Oh yeah, he shouldn't roll in though. That's quite foolish. Foolish. I would have like thought, like Mr. R is like a pretty surgical player, right? Like, he's usually very calculated with a lot of stuff he does, and he plays matchups to a T. I, uh, I would expect him to just win, but I feel like he's, like, with Ultimate as a whole, he's having a hard time finding his stride. I think part of it's a character thing. Like, finding a character that he likes. And the other part is lack of good practice. <laughs> okay, never mind. He did get up attack. He did get up attack. That was so good by Mr. R, though, to, like, do the turnaround needles right on it. Finally! Finally get to see his signature move. I was going to say, why are we seeing any Falcon punches, huh? This absolutely kills at my high school Smash Club. This move is unreal. You know it kills at like 60? Wow! Fatality should do more of this. Look at that damage, Jesus. 93. Like anything will kill. Well, not anything, but a lot of things will kill. That Falcon Kick almost does. 
Why'd you go that way? This is so hard to win the Sheik right now. He's so lucky. He's so lucky. And then he almost killed. Does he win off this? This this sucks. Right here. This was such a huge opportunity. This forward air was a game changer. And then Town and City was like, I got you, homie. Yeah, Fatality needs to hold center stage. Because every time he's off stage, he's going to take so much percent. Up throw kills? Did not know that. Aw, Mr. R went in the house. Look, he's going to land right in the house. He landed in the mailbox. Special delivery. That's really funny. Uh, yeah, so Fatality ended up with... Oh, and look at him shaking his head. I feel like these two have so much mutual respect after playing for so long. Uh, both of them have been around forever. That, like, he knows those grenades shouldn't have happened. Mr. RSD'd. Mr. R just kind of puts up his hands. He's like, yeah, I know, it happens. And it does, you know? Both these guys, uh, are, are long-standing veterans. I just think Fatality is an SCP. I think he was put on this planet to play Captain Falcon. He's a demon from another dimension. Um, I don't know what reality he he slinked out of, but he's here, and he's going to be doing a lot with Falcon. I hope to see him offline, too, uh, continually, as events start to open back up. I don't really think the buffs did as much for Falcon as people say. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I also don't think Hyra and Mithra are the best character in the game, like a lot of people think, and I could be wrong about that, too. I don't know. I'm not a big believer in Falcon, um, but we'll see how Fatality does. I'm excited to see him back regardless. He's very fun to watch.